So, the finals. In the red color is our Protoss player. This is Trigger. His opponent is in the top left. He is blue, playing as Terran. His name is Special. Oh, he's got something special cooked up again. <laughs> Wait, yep. the proxy barracks and phonic. What's your yep. opinion? Two mm -hmm. SCVs. Okay, two yeah. Two barracks. So this is obviously going to be Marines. No gas is being added. The one racks at home with the idea most likely to try to throw uh, trigger off. And a, ooh, a, a second supply depot is going to go up here. So the idea there, of course, nice. is to deny gas information. Probe is denied just in time. So Trigger can be thinking here that there could be like a Widow Mine drop in play, any type of factory or factory starport based attack. And of course, as we know, that is not going to be the case. Uh, this can oh man, hit oh man, <laughs> he's getting a he's getting a nexus. He's got yeah. no idea. So yeah, w when you do see that supply depot block to uh, keep the probe out, you. You, you gotta be thinking, what else could I die to? Yeah, uh, this is probably what you could say is worst case scenario for Trigger. Uh, at least I, I I would think so. I would not want to be the Protoss in this situation. With that being <laughs> said, though, he does have the probe queued up to see those two barracks, and that could make all of the difference in the world here. It definitely could, especially if we see a bunch of the uh, batteries placed down with the Adepts defending. The ad Adept is actually being chrono boosted, so you know, just get another one, get the batteries. This could be okay. Yeah, so there's the scout right now. Battery goes down immediately, chrono boosting the gateway units. A second shield battery, I, I think that's a great idea. I don't see any universe in which this natural is held, though, you know, I, it could be wrong. Depends on how many gateway units can get down there. Oh, actually hits the SCV instead of the Marine. That could be a problem. The free, the weak Marine is alive. Are you kidding me? Uh, Bunker might be coming up as well. Stalker on the high ground, of course, has a bit of range superiority as well. And that's some pretty decent micro there. Still hasn't lost the shields, but uh, Pylon is in trouble town. Dude, the probes just killed the Marine as well. Wow. They're great this defense. This is a furious man. battle. Absolutely furious battle so far. The bunker, of course, changes everything. If that can get up, looks like it will. Oof. Going to start working on the pylon and then the nexus. And it's not Robo like special facility. is done. Like he's pumping the marines. Yeah, yeah. He he has to get something significant out of this. Uh, he's got to get. I would say he pretty much has to get that nexus, and he should be able to do so. Robo facility is about halfway done. Uh, I would imagine we're going to see an immortal chrono boosted out there. Shield batteries on the high grounds. Yep, I mean, the yeah. Nexus might as well be just a, a target practice for the Marines at this point. Yeah, so as I long think as you have stuff on the high ground, you're in an e equivalent situation to what Special is in, pretty much. Yeah. So what's going to happen here is we're going to see an economic advantage uh, for Special. He's expanding behind this. Of course, the attack is done. He got the natural. Um, he has he has no need and uh, no desire, I would say, to push on into the main. But he has an annoying bunker there um, that will probably Ooh. probably only go down once the immortal comes out. Dude, how uh, was that stalker not in battery range? Seriously. I don't understand why it would die. Oh, Stalker did go down, so I did speak too soon. It looks like the bunker will go down before the Immortal comes out. However, some uh, damage was taken. Not only Dude. that, but a few Stalkers. Yeah, this is getting ugly now. No, like, if those four Stalkers were alive and they got the bunker kill, this would be a very, very different game. But these Marines even yes. get a freaking pro. Like, so, uh, what? <laughs> also have to say, uh, you know, bad caster here. I was assuming we would see an immortal. Um, it was a warp prism. Yeah. So I, yeah. And you know, I think that's why Trigger was trying to push so hard with the um, the stalkers to clear it. But it ended ended up being pretty rough for him. He lost a lot of stalkers there. But that giga yeah, backfired, I just, man. Yeah, I, I just made the assumption that it was going to be um, that it was going to be an immortal. 
Batu vicious it has been. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, well. at this at this point, probably yeah, he could take out the SCP before the bunkers finish. Another so one. That's not, oh no, here. no, he canceled the warp in. That's just yeah, another disaster to add to the big list. It, it does look like special should have this in my opinion but don't want to call it too early as dark shrine is coming up <laughs> i mean you know run ahead make invisible man but right. behind make invisible man too <laughs> if unsure make invisible man yeah this is a formidable army here for special trigger is going to try to do whatever he can in the main base here is going to try to be as annoying as possible i think the best he can do is keep this army at home but even then uh not going to be an easy task he's desperately trying to get his economy re-established at home uh, this will be once this terran army gets across the map it's going to be a very difficult hold oh yeah like even with chrono boost and catching up in the actual work count uh Dark Templar might save this, but yeah, hard to say, man. we'll see where are the scans. Dark Templar going to be warped. So is he going to have to rely on them for a defensive warp in? Um, you know, that, that's typically not what a Protoss wants to do. Dark Shrine is finishing up now. I, I think he's got to try to make things uh, as sloppy, ugly as possible. Warp him in on the other side of the map. That is uh, what he has done. Oh, he's actually making an Archon. Oh, what? Didn't expect that. I um, either way, that. yeah, Terran army is on top of the Protoss base, not looking good for Trigger. Not at all, eight, eight workers died just from the transition there. He's trying to Archon drop into the main, the Stalkers are helping out, but there's so much stuff here, Symphonic, on both sides of the map, it's more Terran than Protoss. For sure, so overwhelming force problem. here. See what the invisible man can do. I guess they just get seen. <laughs> oh, gets out of the scan range at least, but I'm pretty sure those CCs still have. Yeah, there you go. They have another. GG. Yeah. That's I the last think that's, that's an example where Trigger's probably just uh, trying to collect himself, get ready for the next game there. He was in, in a rough spot for a while, but mm. I think it's a, a good idea just to. Uh, it, in a tournament atmosphere, you know, sit back a little bit, take a few deep breaths, plan for the next game, and, you know, not, it, it, it's best, at least in my opinion, not to carry, you know, like, tilt or frustration into the next one, so a lot of times you can take, you know, take 30 seconds or a minute extra, even when you know the game's over, to recollect and move forward. Alright, welcome to the grand finals of the Metaplace Manx Dominion Tournament. $300 on the line and in the red. Playing as Protoss, this is Trigger. In the bottom left, it's the Blue Terran currently up 1-0. Looking to build off of that on the other side of the map. He is special. Ooh, nice scout right away there. No time wasted whatsoever. It's doing the same thing, not. Probably for the best to cancel that thing. If Trigger knows ahead of time, it's just that much harder to pull it off. But yep. we've got an Ooh. engineering bay block, so that's pretty good too. Buy yep. a lot of time here. Oh, it's good for special because he at least gets some value out of that SCV whose original mission uh, was canceled. But eBay block will help a little bit.
It, it wasn't in vain, SCB, buddy. Nope, not at all. Oh, going for a gas block, dude. Nice reaction, though, from Trigger. <laughs> yeah, that SCB does not want to die for it, I think. Wouldn't be able to get it built very far. Not like a Protoss probe would have been able to. So what's the transition for special here? I think he's just gonna pump a bunch of marines and go into some video mine drop shenanigans or something like that. Uh, maybe, maybe Hellions, right? Yeah, could be. Uh, either of those can work. Obviously, we all know what Widow Mine Drops can do. Mm -hmm. um, Hellion pressure, like when they just sort of park outside of the natural, that's always a big threat, especially if there are no shield batteries. But yeah, there are lots of variations that we could see. With uh, Marines pumping, you know, you could see something like a medevac of Marines dropping in uh, in the main while Hellions dive on the natural. See, uh, Widow Mine drop, Marines just used kind of back at, at home. Um, yeah, lot, lots and lots of different variations. We'll find out in a second here. There's the immediate starport and a tech lab actually on the factory. Oh, the depth got picked off, but Stalker's gonna come up, get a couple of kills on the Marines. Damn, that set of Marine kills is pretty good. At the same time, though, I, I gotta think that because the factory isn't working yet, this is gonna be some Banshee play. Which is pretty easily defended if you've got uh, the batteries in, in the mineral line area. Stalkers yeah, have been played right thus there. far, so it should be a pretty solid game for Trigger. I don't think the Banshee should do too much unless he forgets the batteries. Could be Liberator, that's obviously a lot more bursty. Okay, it's gonna be a Raven. Very interesting. Another Ravens are obviously great if you can keep them alive. Get the Disables on Colossus yeah. or uh, Disruptors or whatever it is gonna be. Or just for so, the Anti-Armor Missile, that's also fine. Yeah, there's a Tech Lab, it's, uh, it's not clear. I I'm guessing we're going to see that rack switch over onto the tech lab. We might even see the um, the third racks switch onto the Starport's tech lab for a double upgrade push. Uh, but at any rate, this is going to be an aggressive build from Special. There's Stim. Yep, and so it is going to be a double upgrade push them combat shields uh, possibly medevac we'll, we'll find out soon nope it's going to be a reactor yeah, stem still pretty far away so I guess special is gonna be pretty defensive besides that Raven just shit in here yeah, Raven's probably going to look to go in there, cast an auto turret, pull back. I mean, there's no shield battery in the mineral line. So depending on the reaction speed of trigger, this could get some work done. Now the, the bunker bomb gets blasted out. hard. Yeah. <laughs> that never had a chance. But neither do the probes against the auto turret. They're coming back, of course, so it expires pretty quickly. Stalkers, however, get pounced on by the infantry. But there's enough of them to one-shot marines every time as they kite. Nice. Yeah. No upgrades on the, the bio just yet. Uh, no stim, no concussive shells, so... Bit of a dangerous dance. Raven sitting out there in the dead airspace. Oh, the stalkers get back into this quick with that acceleration zone. It's a great area to fight around for the Protoss. Easy to engage or disengage whatever he pleases. And there's the Colossus. So yeah, that Raven's gonna come in very useful later. Wait, did it get it? Ah, it's still sitting. I, I can't actually see it on the minimap, you know? I I'm wondering yeah, how the players tough. can... I, I literally can't see it. It's... I can see some smudge there, but... 
Yeah, How does Trigger even know? We're gonna have probably a, a three pronged attack here. Main army up the middle. Raven will probably hit the mineral line. And we've got a double Widowmine drop just landing now. First shot goes off. Second one is going into the natural. Yep, there's the Raven. Yep, three, uh, three prongs all at once, or almost at once. Main army is a tiny bit late to the party. Oh, that's gonna be a big one, Symphonic. Five. <laughs> I guess I would have expected something even bigger, but oh, the Colossus yeah, goes down, the Robo good. goes down. What else could you possibly ask for? An Immortal? Okay. <laughs> I guess an Immortal. There's another middle line! Okay, this time around, Trigger splits really nicely. So I'd say it's a successful attack there. From Great Special. Now, yes, eight probes killed in total. Uh, the army supply, though, that's what's looking a little, uh, a little bit scary for Trigger. He's down, what, about 20 army supply, roughly? 20, uh, 24? And it's an SCV pool, so here we go. For the boys! <laughs> At this point, Overcharge. it's just hard to micro into the actual units. These guys are yeah. definitely providing a lot of shielding here. Yeah, so two, yeah, two shield batteries. One is being overcharged. The cannon is going to help. The SCVs are soaking up damage. There's a lot of stimmed bio here with five medevacs. I'm not sure Trigger can quite hold on, especially since the shield batteries are out of energy. He's going to pull probes forward. I don't think it's enough. A disruptor shot is avoided successfully by special. Wow. It's a complete way if that disruptor shot was the only thing that could really save him here. But, you know, if he manages to somehow land one, there's a second one coming out. That could hit, but Special oh. picks up and only loses a single Marauder. I mean, that's totally fine. He can keep going. There's another one and kills the Disruptor before it, it down. blows. Fantastic attack here from Special. Even the Vidalman gets a hit, so hit off and Trigger gets kicked out of game two, man. You know why this map is good, Symphonic? Please tell me. We're underwater. It's a special place. In my heart. Certainly been a special series so far. Oh, that was the introduction, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just had stuff. <laughs> no, nobody's gonna, nobody's gonna forgive us for these special puns. I mean, they're number one, they're terrible. Number two, everybody does them. All that every time he plays. Poor True. Guy. <laughs> <laughs> he gets paid for it, it's fine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alright, is this Caster Chicken? The, uh... <laughs> What's that? Caster Chicken. Caster Chicken, yeah, no. Who, who's gonna introduce Trigger? Maybe Chat. Chat will, chat will introduce Trigger. <laughs> Alright, I, I will uh, take that torch and run with it. In the bottom left hand corner of the map. Currently down 0-2 in our grand finals. It's the blue Protoss, and he is Trigger. Well, no proxies this time. In fact, we're going to see a Marine. Well, who said no proxies? I mean, that SCV could technically be up to no good. But it should be a scout because there's no Reaper. SCVs are innocent until proven guilty. <laughs> Probes are guilty until proven innocent. Though. Yes, abso absolutely. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no due process for the the probes. I'm sorry, Protosses. Yeah, SCVs are, are always up to good until proven otherwise. Probes up to no good until proven otherwise. 
no no bias at all from uh from the caster. None. None. <laughs> I've definitely not been cannon rushed a thousand times in my career it hasn't either. Happened. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Probably happened more so than any other strategy, if I'm honest. But that's okay, just ladder. Again. I don't blame the yeah, race. Right. Got, uh, reactor, Marines, Factory, and Bunker. So things looking pretty similar to last game, with the exception of there not being a cancelled proxy. Stargate play from Trigger, and I have to imagine, based on what we saw in the Kelezer series, I'm thinking we're going to see Phoenix Adepts. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very safe placement. You know what I'm surprised by? That there's not been any Protoss proxying, no proxy Stargate, no nothing. Oh, Void Ray from home. Now that is different. Here we go. Uh, right, you know what he home. could do, though, with that? Like, that doesn't have to mean that it stays at home and that it's defensive. Technically, you could build a uh, wall of shield batteries at the Terran third, but I mean at, at the bottom. But that can be siege tanked, but at the same time, Void Rays deal with siege tanks pretty good, so we'll have to see what happens exactly. Yeah, it's a multi Void Ray build. He's trying to hide it, but here come the Reapers. They're gonna find it immediately. The Void Ray didn't yeah, even finish for long. They, and yep. <laughs> here they he is. They see the Void Ray. Yeah. Oh man. But it would have seen the Stargate anyways, I guess, so. Mm -hmm. Hellion looks like it's going to pick up a few kills here. One so far. There's a second probe. I love these underwater maps. Yeah, they're really cool. Going back to... I think the first one was... Was it... Um, Abyssal Reef, I believe. That's why it was. Yeah, that was a good map. I had one of my Big best, uh, one of my best wins ever in StarCraft. Uh, StarCraft Two was uh, was on that map. It was against the Grand. It was the first Grandmaster tournament that I won against an actual Grandmaster on EU, and he accused me of map hacking. So <laughs> typical. So yeah, so that that came st sticks in my mind for multiple reasons. Um, <laughs> so we we do see again the um, the Macfield Accelerator upgrade i'm thinking that's probably just going to be for the void ray defense because yeah, it, it is going to be bio multiple barracks being added but those cyclones are going to be much much better against the void rays with that upgrade yeah that can't hurt stim coming in hey the void rays don't have any backup there's no uh only their speed really there's no shield batteries here so the cyclones yeah. are really scary actually Oh my, look how quickly those are focused on. It's right before the Macfield Accelerator finishes. Maybe the Void Rays is scary. Once he gets him, he's actually going to kill the Marines first, which also probably isn't a bad idea. Uh, there's just no defense now against the Void Rays. So yeah, that's working out really well. All of the reinforcements are Damn. getting killed too. But really good micro by Special picking off the weak one. That said, he doesn't really have much left to fend this off. But then again, the Void Rays aren't focusing on much. They're killing SCVs mostly. Yeah, Which they're just indiscriminately killing everything. Magfield is finally done, but I, I think the, the damage has already been done here. I don't know if Special can recover from this, especially since he's going to lose him here in a moment, or is he? Oh, the repair is pretty good, but I mean, he's sacrificing workers every time he does this, and uh, honestly, the Cyclone isn't very healthy either anymore, and all the Marines get melted. Trigger takes game three. Nice one. Yep. You know, well, I, I wouldn't have back. thought that just making Voyager's at home like that without much backup would work out so well, but yeah, Trigger's surprising me a little bit there. And special. <laughs> yeah. Most importantly. I, I, I am surprised that, uh, surprised and impressed that Trigger was able to pull that off, even though his first Void Ray was scouted by the Reaper. So, did a good job hitting, um, took out two cyclones probably about 20 seconds or so prior to the magfield accelerator upgrade finishing
Alright guys, spawning in the bottom side, this guy has got a few tricks up his sleeve in the grand finals of the Manx Dominion tournament here. This is a trigger. Playing Protoss. We've got the wrong guy. They switched colors again. No. As I was saying, this is trigger. His opponent in the top right wearing blue. Playing Terran, it is special. Starting Double to get guesser. a little bit tired, so these mess ups <laughs> might happen if it continues. But luckily, there's not that many games left. The double gas opener here from Trigger. Wondering if we'll see this. Probe. Yep, there we go. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm thinking shield batteries. That that's my first uh, first instinct there. Yeah. I do think you think we're going to see shield batteries? This has got to be some sky toss stuff, right? I, I mean, would if if I had to bet on it, that's what I would go with. After all, it's at the bottom location, not in the net, so it would be oh, way harder zealots. to make immortals work. Yep, there so there's is. a stargate. So, I mean, special in seeing that zealot being rallied across the map, special absolutely knows that he's going to be up against some kind of aggression. Uh, he also mm -hmm. has scouted the double gas, uh, no other tech in the base, so his senses have to be tingling right now. You can now. see the shield battery. Yep, you're right. Just barely. Uh, it's a little unfortunate, though, for, for Trigger, but he's picked yeah, up an he... SCV, so that bunker isn't happening. That's nice. Uh, yeah, should that's be a able really to nice delay. Rono out that flyboy real fast. There is an adept. Should be able to take on the free marines together with the zealot, no problem. This is going to be a tricky hold here for special, I think, especially if he focuses down the SCV with the adept uh, oh, dude. on the bunker. Okay, that's not Just happening. Just barely doesn't get it. Still though. Once that Void Ray's out, this is going to be very difficult. There aren't many Marines. I mean, there are four to spread across two locations and two bunkers. That's right, but there is a Supply Block for Trigger. He loses the Adaptil, which kind of saves the situation. But he's still not making a pylon behind this. Okay, now he is. Special is not about to get Supply Blocked anytime soon, as he did finish the CC on the low ground, which is great news for him. But the Void Ray is working on it. He, yeah, I was just going to say, he, he's going to have to float that CC up there. This is going to be a tough hold. Second Void Ray is out. Third one on the way. There's only one bunker right now. That Cyclone can't come out quickly enough. Oh, they're getting out of range of the... There we go. Got to be really careful to not float out of the range of the shield batteries. Okay, that Void Ray got a bit adventurous, but... Uh, you know, there's still two shield batteries with energy. Trigger will have to make some more. Good Void Ray about to pop out. But once again, that's going to be a supply block. What's going on? Yeah, Trigger really needs to get a pylon down here. He doesn't want to, uh, does not want to interrupt his Void Ray production, that's for sure. I, I don't think there's enough here, Naka. I do not think there's enough to hold this. One Cyclone is not going to do it. Even if you had every single SCV repairing it, it's You're just not right. going to be enough. You're right. Uh, special cause GG. Trigger. Trigger equalizes his ears and we're, we're going to game five. Crazy Just like stuff. That. We're back with the Grand Finals, and this is the last game, guys. In the red, we have got Trigger 
so far making it work really well with those void rays, man. Yep. His opponent looking to close this out and become the first champion of Manx Dominion Metal Plays Tournament. He's in the top left. He's blue. He's Terran. And he is special. All of those things are true. He's got the little fake out proxy here. The, the self proxy. Yep. Might pull some probes to check it out, but... Beyond that, it shouldn't mean too much. Helps you do your normal attack in your main base, I guess, but uh, that's about it. Yeah, I am interested in the double gasts and obviously full saturation on both of those gases here. Wouldn't mind seeing Not a short. BC game. <laughs> Especially, certainly, into max, so... Would be cool, I think. Yep, Owen here is the scout. Not a big deal, but again, it's just nice for Trigger to verify that he's not being proxied uh, on his side of the map. So he's going to return home. Yeah, he's even made a Zella just in case, but isn't going to end up needing it. So uh, Nexus is up next. Along with an Adept and no doubt Stalker follow up. Bunker being added in base by special. Oh. Uh, I wonder if he thinks he's up against the same build. That is how it started uh, last time with the Zealot going across the map. Of course, though, this is very, very different. I could be up against the uh, one from two games ago where the Void Race were just yeah. stacking up in the main base. Uh, okay, so yeah, he, for he just canceled attack. the Bunker. Yep. The bunker can be remade anytime later, so exactly, might as well free yeah. up those resources. So it is going to be a Stargate. Though, of course, there is a natural for Trigger yeah. this time. A special has scouted for the standard proxy locations. Unless something funky was happening in the, in the middle ramp area here. Everything else he has seen. It's cool to see the mind games from both players. The Zealot going across, making Special momentarily think he might be up against the, the build from the previous game. And then from Special's part, of course, going double gas. Uh, the, we'll call it like a fake proxy barracks on his own side of the map. So it's the game within the game. Yeah, that's what we get for having a best of five. Definitely worth it. Anyway, it's not going to be Void Race. It's going to be the Oracle. Yep. Almost out. And as long as Special has some kind of Marines defending, all should be good. The Vinyl Mine actually picks off the Zealot. And I don't think any probes have been lost. Yeah, zero. That's actually a really good start for Trigger. Like, he Agreed. killed a few units there. The Widow Mine is on cooldown at the natural. However, there are a few Marines, which may oh, be wow. able... No, not quite. Yeah, you would need like five Marines to beat that, right? Yeah, yeah, I believe it is fine. Um, and I think one of them already started out with low health, so some okay. damage already here for Trigger. Oh, he's Double using up the drop. Oracle Energy to burn through that Supply Depot fast. Very interesting choice by Trigger, but gets in with the Adept and the Stalker anyway. Middle Mind drop, landing in the net, and there's no split! Oh my intros. goodness! I mean, probes! It's actually probes. Okay, in the main, however, uh, there's, there's a good split. Actually impacts the gas nine workers having killed on both sides in the end so yeah equivalent so, exchange <laughs> confirmed these guys are exchanging heavy heavy blows here i, I guess if, if i had to choose i would say may maybe trigger came out slightly ahead just by virtue of the fact that he is up 10 workers that's a little more than uh than usual at, the, uh, at this point in the game I mean, he can chrono boost as well, so he makes back those yeah. nine faster. Yeah. And he's making three he... workers at a time now. <laughs> yep, third base is already up, so I think the onus here is on special to try to find some damage. Double oracles are going to pop into the main two, and there's nothing there to defend. There, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the cyclone is popping out just now. 
Uh, that could have been disastrous. Uh, even now, Trigger is going to get some damage, I think. One Oracle falls. What about the counter-attack group, though? Think they can get the Immortal? It's going to depend on that shield battery timing. It's really close. It looks like they might get him oh, yeah, super that's close there. It. Oh, wait. Do they, though? Nope. It was not in range. These guys are fighting tooth and nail, clawing for every bit of value that they can get. I mean, there's uh, there's money on the line here. The uh, the discrepancy is not insignificant. So the, these guys are really going for it here in the final game. Things are starting to settle down a little bit anyway. And there's actually, there's an armory for, uh, there's an armory for special. I'm actually wondering uh, what that's for, to be honest. I, uh, Widow Mines, I'm guessing, but then again, he's making tanks. So I'm, I'm actually not sure um, what the purpose there is anyway. Well, they're going to be invisibles now, so. Yeah, but he, does he have any Widow Mines left? I guess he can always make some new ones, but. Right, right now, he's working on tanks. Yeah. So yeah, I'm kind of curious uh, about that because that's not um, that's not a minor investment at this stage of the game to go for that armory. I honestly don't have an answer. I'm I'm not quite sure what else he'd do with it. Plus two is really far away, so it's not mm -hmm. that. Yeah. And he okay, so he is going five racks. Or is uh, let's see up to. Yeah, so this is going to be a, a very heavy two base attack. It is five racks. He's adding four and five on now. Uh, but he is continuing to produce tanks. Oh, sure is. It's a lot of them too. Like already got two. It's a Only good pick off here. Immortal. Kill, yeah, killing oh, that. Kill uh, the killing that wow. Oracle. Yeah, that's pretty darn nice uh, a little bit comforting you don't have to worry about those constant tags on your army at least not now anyway and i'm thinking trigger has got to he's got to be aware of the potential for a two base scv pool he's seen that there's still no third base we're at 8 30 into the game uh, i would expect to see some shield batteries to be honest the, the, the scv pool is going to come pretty soon i think Yeah, workers are worker production has been cut at 47. Army is moving across the map now. Stim is done. Plus one attack is done. Combat shields is about to be done. Here come the boys. Yep. And it's go time, folks. War Prism is in the center of the map. It's actually spotted and oh, gets killed. That's, oh, goodness. That is a huge problem. No yes, counter attacks at, then. Exactly. No cross map threat right now for trigger at all. Special is going to position himself. It's going to be Marine Tank SCV versus almost pure Adept. Well, let's see if the Adept's shading on can do anything. They actually miss shade. It's even gonna be a uh, Liberator on top helping out. Uh, SCV's actually not doing much, kind of stuck behind the Marines. So yeah. The Marines attacking for our SCVs, but overall they've gotten so much done already. The Adept's only now gonna get Glaives when half of them are dead. Beautifully timed attack right before it glaives. The shield battery, of course, did already go down. More tanks are coming up to reinforce, and the army of triggers just sort of apportioned off from the defense of the natural. Yeah, this is not a very good army, Symphonic, and they're up against plus one Marines with stem and combat shields. That's not insignificant, and GG is called special. Takes this championship, then. Great work right there. Yeah, fantastic attack there well executed attack and you know as i was saying i started to get a little bit worried for trigger once you know i saw that the time was getting really late and he still hadn't added uh enough shield batteries to that third base you know it's 8 30 no third bases down uh five five barracks are in play to me that says one thing this is this is an scv pool on two bases but very well played, well executed by Special, and he is 
the inaugural champion.